All right, I haven't uh, done any updates or posts on the uh, the house for a while. Uh, as you can see, it's still very much in the renovation mode. Um, we'll do a quick walkthrough, carport. That goes inside, but first, we got a sunroom. Nice little enclosed sunroom, lots of light. Um, that's the shop, backyard, but to the house. So here we're gonna have, this is our workroom. Um, fairly, fairly large room here. This is a, uh, there's a gas uh, stove top there and a sink. It's just all covered up. Lots of light. See all the back porch or the backyard that goes into oh, we've got a pond back there, cows, whole nine yards. More the shop. It's gonna be the uh, laundry room um, and Sarah's um, Sarah's office. I'm going to be building an office out in the barn. So that's gonna be my, my smithy and my workshop. So that's gonna be a, a fairly large laundry room and then a uh, office for her storage area. A little small pantry storage area. This is, uh, these cabinets here. Or uh, cabinets my grandpa built. Stairs, I believe he built those stairs. Lots of room in here. Lots of room everywhere in this house. I mean, it's just tons of room. So plenty of plenty of places to store stuff. Growing up, there was a water fountain, water faucet right here. Man, uh, yeah, it was just we always had a water faucet right there. Like at school, you know. All right, so this is going to be the dining room and living room. Um, table's gonna go pretty much right in this area for the exact same spot my grandma always had it. Uh, so plenty, plenty of storage space here. Great views out the windows. A little, a little storage spot, put toys and whatnot. Then we move into the kitchen. Um, we tore down a wall in here. You can kind of see where the wall came out um we still got lots to do see the blue line is going to be cabinets and you can see how that's how far a standard cabinet comes out blue tape on the back is going to be stove uh, for, uh microwave above it vent hood um we'll put, uh, put countertops on all these we'll, uh, probably change the doors and all the cabinets but for the most part the cabinets are staying um that part's going to come out the uh, hot water heater is going to come out uh, and we're going to put down uh, flooring. Uh, we're going to bring the hardwood floor on uh, through it. Uh, there was pine underneath this part where the rest is, was uh, oak. All this is oak under here. It just has to be refinished. More storage, more storage. Refrigerator is going to go right here. More storage. Lots of pantry. So we can get do our canning thing. All right, we're gonna go back to the back of the house. All right, this is gonna be the main entrance from the porch. Uh, knowing us, we're gonna use the carport more than anything, but that's gonna be the main entrance. Probably gonna have some bookshelves or aquarium or something here. All right, uh, bathroom can be. This was the only bathroom in the house. Uh, we've changed it up. Um, Toilet's gonna go behind. The toilet's gonna go there. Um, so we're gonna have the tub back there, and then the vanity over here. So the vanity was always here. Shower was there. Uh, and toilet was right to that where it's at now. We're gonna change all that up a little bit. Uh, gonna make it flow a lot better. Um, this was gonna be Sarah's office. 
nice nice size office uh, it still may be but uh, office's own room all that kind of stuff for Ark's room um, but since we're having another baby guess what this is becoming a nursery to start with uh, and this is, is Elizabeth's room huge room uh, we're going to do a built-in cabinet here in the back reminiscent of the cabinet that was down the stairs uh, pretty much a built-in wardrobe instead of a, a closet a standard closet all right going this is going to be the master bedroom this was the uh, den um, so we're gonna make this our master bedroom. Lots of lighting in here, except for the, we're gonna be probably end up uh, blocking those out. Uh, yes, we have a fireplace. We're gonna have a fireplace in our bedroom. Ha ha, be jealous. Uh, bookshelves, uh, there are matching bookshelves. This goes there, I tore them down uh, on accident. I was trying to preserve them and end up breaking them. So we have to build new shelves to match to go back over there, because I will have Lots and lots of bookshelves. Uh, anybody knows me knows I do books. Um, doors probably staying. I'm not 100% made up my mind. I like the door there because we can go immediately to the kitchen. Going in, we are building a master bath. We're gonna have uh, vanities over here. Um, probably toilet there. I'm gonna do a nice, nice big shower. That's gonna be the shower spot, and then a, uh, a nice deep tub over here, whirlpool, of course. Um, and then we're gonna move into the closet, huge walk-in closet. But you also gotta, it's gonna be for me and Sarah. Uh, and I have a lot of clothes because I'm a prima, prima donna that way. Uh, so um, lots of stuff. Yes, I will be wiring the house for Cat. Um, so that's the, uh, that's, that's where we're at right now. As you can see, there's still tons to do. Lots of, um, walls that are not put up yet. There's just, just so much going on. We are currently waiting, uh, plumber, electrician, uh, once they've done their thing, the, um, hopefully we, once they get their stuff done, everyone else can come back in and do stuff. I'd like to get a ceiling back up. Um, need the air conditioners probably got to be looked at again, uh, but it's in really good condition. Uh, it's actually been running already, even minus the, the ceiling. I had to get it running on some of these hot days. Uh, but once the electrician and plumber does their thing, we're going to be doing the flooring ourselves. We've already started kind of, that's where it's, uh, we're going to try to fit back in to make that nice and seamless. So we're trying to, to find the edges and pull out so we can piece in all the tongue and groove to make all that good subboard looks good in here anyway i'm just rambling now um this is about nine minutes already going on but some people were asking me where we're at with the house uh it's been a really really slow process um but it's coming along it's, it's, it's we're doing as much of it we can ourselves uh i'm super excited to see the potential of this house this is uh i don't know if i've uh, you've mentioned uh, i've mentioned that this is my grandparents uh so i'm i'm super excited that we're going to be able to keep this house and our family but yet bring it up to date and do the things that we need to do to live our way uh four boys uh were raised in this house my dad and his his three brothers were all raised in this house um so i'm excited that it meant sarah and i are going to be able to raise our our children in this house um, so I, I want to leave y'all with a vista of the outside because um, this is absolutely amazing out here it's just gorgeous um, and I'm blessed to be able to to say soon this is gonna be my house but this is uh, what I get to walk out and see I mean, this is actually Absolutely breathtaking. It's gorgeous out here. There are cows 
as, as evident by the cow paddy. We left the, uh, the gates open to let them just come on in and graze a little bit. But we have cows out there, uh, but they're real nice, sweet cows. So I can be happier. Uh, this place is amazing. All right, ciao.